So this is my new uh, conspiracy theory, and I know it's going to come off like a bad dad joke, but I'm actually very serious about this. Uh, we can't trust weathermen anymore, because storm after storm this winter has come through the pipe where they should have known that it was going to be the worst storm ever after the last worst storm ever. And we have dangerous weather conditions of record snowfall amounts and uh, record low temperatures that, you know, anyone standing outside waiting for a bus is going to get frostbite, right? And so we get these things coming towards us and weathermen have been consistently prior to the event downplaying the weather and saying, oh, it's going to be you know, one to two inches of snow for your area. And then it turns out to be six to eight that morning. And you're like, wow, now I have to knock all this snow off. And we already planned to come back into work. So, you know, it's going to be a doozy getting to work, you know, slip sliding away over all this snow. I sure hope I make it safely. You know, uh, the reason why we'll have horrible weather conditions, uh, you know, the, the first bad storm, of the winter, and then every storm that after that that's even worse, we don't close down for that. It's because corporations want us to come into work. They don't want to shut down for dangerous weather conditions. And guess who owns the weathermen? The same conglomerates that want you to come back into work. This is why we have to wait till the morning of and then listen to see if your local school district has called off of work, these are these are like school teachers. These are not meteorologists. You know, we should be able to trust the weathermen to tell us, hey, there's dangerous weather conditions up there. We should be able to trust the National Weather Service. We should be able to trust that our bosses don't want us to die on the way to work. But no, we we listened to the news in the morning to see which uh, school districts decided, you know what? We've had a school bus slide off the road trying to get to work. So we're just not going to even pick up kids today. So we're canceling school. That's what we wait for instead of, you know, seeing beforehand that there's this storm of all storms coming our way, you know, worse than all the storms before. And then just saying, you know what? The sensible thing to do would be tell everybody, don't even risk it. Don't even risk it. Your health is more important. But no, corporate greed.